Hi folks, Ed here. I'm a filmmaker and editor based in London. Today I'm going to talk about this, the Lumix 50mm f1.8. You know, the 50mm is a super versatile focal length. It's great for interview portraits, detail shots, and it's just about wide enough to get establishing shots. I've never really owned a modern 50mm stills lens, I've got plenty of old vintage 50mm lenses and I love all of those but you do have to work a lot harder with them. You've got to mount them with a bulky adapter, manually set the aperture and nail the focus by hand every time you take a shot. Now those lenses are beautiful when you've got the time but for stuff like street photography they don't really improve your chances of success when you want to nail shots in an instant. The Lumix 50mm f1.8 is a super compact and lightweight lens. It weighs only 300 grams. I bought this because I was going on a trip to Italy last year and I wanted something that could just sit on my stills camera, the Panasonic S5. I really wanted a simple setup to take pictures. Coming from shooting video on vintage lenses, to be honest I wasn't really expecting to love this lens or to be blown away by it, but I really liked the images it produced. It's very modern looking. I guess I'd say there's a certain smoothness to it as well, but it's balanced and controlled. It's very sharp, but it doesn't feel overly harsh. It really won me over. So I picked this up for £429, so I wouldn't say it's cheap. Maybe a bit more than I wanted to pay for an occasional use lens. The lens itself comes with a uh, lens hood. It has this little switch on here which just uh, allows you to unscrew it and then click it back into position there, which I really like. If you are using uh, front screw on filters, then the filter diameter that you will need is 67 millimeters. Um, apparently the lens is also weather sealed, which is fantastic. So you can be confident in using it out and about in uh, tough weather conditions. The closest thing I'd compare it to would maybe be the Sigma Art lenses, uh, the 50mm Sigma Arts, but I think although head to head the Sigmas probably look a touch nicer, the L-mount Sigma Art lens costs over £200 more and it's almost three times heavier and much larger. So I think the Panasonic Lumix lens is a much better deal in my opinion. I'd heard a lot of bad things about the Panasonic autofocus and my experiences with this were, to be honest, mainly good. When taking stills, I did find that it really struggled with compositions that were side or backlit. Even with body detection enabled, the camera would detect figures by drawing a box around them uh, in the frame, but then for some reason it would struggle to lock focus on them, um, which at times got really frustrating and I did end up just knocking it back onto manual focus uh, as I was quicker at doing it myself. It's not the end of the world, but if I were in a professional setting it would be an issue. Generally though, in less demanding situations with good front lighting, it performed fine and the lens was snappy and responsive. I took it out for some street photography whilst I was in Italy and generally I was able to get most of the shots in an instant. In video again I heard a lot of negative criticism of Panasonic's autofocus systems but for interviews and vlogging I think the continuous autofocus on this lens and in those systems would be perfectly capable of keeping things in focus. I do think it's going to be good enough for most situations. I think even for gimbal work as long as you have the settings right and you've tested it and know how to use it I think this lens will cover you well. Now I don't generally use autofocus when filming so it's not really a deal breaker for me but what I did like is that I could use autofocus to quickly acquire focus on the subject before I started filming which would take a bit longer and be less precise if I were doing it manually. The lens isn't stabilised but that doesn't matter because the Panasonic cameras have absolutely amazing in-body stabilisation or IBIS, it's probably the best in its class so you can get some incredibly stable video shots when you're shooting handheld, I had absolutely no problems with that. When shooting video with this lens I tend to add a, a 1 8 black pro mist just to soften things up. You'll definitely need a variable neutral density filter if you want to shoot video on DSLR so definitely consider picking one of those up if you are looking to start shooting video with this lens. 
just wanted to quickly show you a few um, slightly more controlled tests with this lens. So you can see that chromatic aberration is very controlled and minimal on the Lumix uh, lens. The lens is very sharp. It's very controlled and balanced. There's nice color rendition. There's nice contrast. This is one of my favorite lenses, the uh, SMC Super Takuma M42 fit. Um, 50 mm f1.4, which is a very old vintage lens I picked up for about £150 on eBay. You can certainly see with the SMC Super Takuma that lens tends to push a much warmer look in its image, um, whereas I would say the Lumix is much more balanced, it's a cleaner, more faithful reproduction. So I think my overall thoughts on this lens is you can't really go wrong. Combined with a small body like the S5, you have a really compact and killer setup, especially if you're shooting video. It's definitely not priced as a budget 50mm lens, but then the lens you're getting definitely isn't budget in quality. Uh, I think you're getting a lot of lens for what you pay for. Lumix do sell a pro 50mm lens, which is almost three times the cost of this, but it's also much larger, it's much heavier, Upgrading to that lens, you sacrifice all the benefits and all the things that I really like about this. The fact that it's really small and lightweight. So, you know, if you pick this up along with the 35mm and the 85mm L-mount lenses, which are in the same range as this, I think you'd have a super beautiful set of ultra lightweight and portable primes, which could cover you for most shooting situations. And I think you could go out and confidently shoot images and video with this in your bag, so this Nifty 50 definitely gets my approval.